Well, we've heard of old Boba, old, 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 <laughs> God damn it, old, 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 overholt, cast strength, straight rye whiskey, that one is 11 year, we heard that old, uh, 10 year was pretty good, so let's see how 11 go, we ain't never had no old, over hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we do. Right on, man. Let's check out what this has got for us today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, now you're going to flip it. Old Overhold 11. Cast strength. Yeah, it is cast strength. It's cast strength. What is the uh, 11 year? 11 year, 107.4. So we've actually never even had old overholt before. Uh, we kind of tend to stay away from rise for the most part, but we have been warming up to them recently uh, based on that trip we did to, uh, to Kentucky with. And prior Oasis. to, yeah, we had a few of these cast strength rides. Yeah. It was actually some good shit. Yeah, it was. Ooh, really nice fat. Uh, it's kind of like an old granddad bottle. Yeah, same bottle. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Always. Maybe this is the old granddad rye version. Who knows? Well, I thought it was a high rye already. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm researching it. Yeah. Oh, so here's our first time for some old Oberholt. <laughs> Say it slowly. <laughs> Ober, oh, oh, <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> no, it don't help. Oh, man. All right. Let's see here. That's pretty robust. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it does actually. Damn. Doesn't even smell. I don't get no rice smell off of that. I mean, I get a little pepper. <laughs> but. To be yeah. honest with you, it's, yeah, it's kind of custardy, vanilla custard. Yeah. Lots of vanillas, custard. Yeah. Oh, that smells some, good. Uh, some pie crust in there. Yeah, pie crust? Yeah. Like a vanilla pudding pie. Do they oh, make no, vanilla pudding pie? Sounds pretty good. They, uh, they I know they make like banana cream pie. Coconut cream pie. Oh, coconut cream. I ain't got no coconut in there, though. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Man, it definitely got that big. cream pie smell. So when you bring out that, mmm, easy now. Yeah, I just caused my pinky to stick out. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about cream pies and pinky sticking out. I don't know. It, it's a bourbon boner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Damn, two bourbon boners. Back to the bourbon. Mm, that is. It smells delicious. Uh, some of the baking spices are coming through a little bit more now. The the ryeness of it. For lack of better terms, I'm ready to get this. Maybe my right. sniffer ain't working, but I ain't smelling no damn right. <laughs> and that's a plus. No, oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's very sweet. Very, very mild rye flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it shines through a little, little, little bit more on the palate. Intensifies but, in the in towards the mid, but it's not hot for being 107 point something. Not at all. 107.4. That's really smooth. Yeah, that rye is real mellow. Hits mid palate and then it just lingers in through the finish. I tell you what, man. Like it's been it's, for me, it's becoming a trend. Uh, remember the old Granddad 16? How smooth it was. Yeah. Like right around 100 proof. Now this is 107 proof and very very smooth and easy to drink I'm, I'm thinking that might be the sweet spot for bean products when it comes to uh either higher age or cast strength this is pretty damn good and we are not see again we're not huge dry guys but here we are enjoying this old overholt 11. yeah I'm, I'm not mad about it at all to be honest i wouldn't mind getting the 10 now to compare it 10 supposedly is better than this anybody got 10. Like if, Probably find us a sample. I only think the 11. That's why I went that route. Yeah, well, 10 was last year's release. Oh, well, yeah. see, I wasn't there last year. Yeah. Well, we were. I just don't think we were there at the right time. Was I there last yeah, year? Yeah, we were. Ah, who the hell knows? I'm there every damn year for the past few years. 
<laughs> and now I get to go back because I got to replace all those Glen Karen glasses. Oh, man. Any excuse. <laughs> That's a good damn reason right there. It's no fun ordering them. It's more fun going. Man. Driving 400 miles to all the distilleries. Yeah, it's a good time, man. And, dude, how, how sweet on the nose and, the, and the palate is this for a rye? For us not being rye drinkers, this would be one I'd recommend to people that aren't rye drinkers. You ain't kidding. Yeah, real sweet right on the tip. Yeah, dude. And I'm interested to see what uh, what they do for releases in the future with this. I mean, what are they going to do? A 12-year next? I mean, it can, only, it can only all be... It can only be hitters as far as I'm concerned if they're, if they're all scoring such high marks. Let's see some older aged, older overholt at cast strength. Because we're digging it. Yeah, right. Anyway, what the hell? That's our take on the first time I ever tried an old Ober. Old, old. Get, get yourself a bottle of that if you can. Cause, uh, old Oberholt. <laughs> it's dead. Good God. Anyway, have at it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man, that's some good shit.